So the main association of the deaf is a nonprofit organization that gets together and it's deaf and hard of hearing people from all over the state and hearing people are able to join as well. Every year we host the Deaf Culture Festival in the last week of September and it's people from different agencies and throughout the community in Maine and it's people who uh, run nonprofit organizations and people who uh, are artists, craftsmen, food vendors within the community are all invited to participate. So this festival was set up several years ago and we have Deaf Culture Week here in Maine. It tends to be the last full week of September. Every year the government, the governor signs a proclamation to uh, announced that the last week of September will be Deaf Culture Week. And just before the week, or the week before, the Commission for the Deaf and Hard of Hearing hosts a deaf tea to recognize people within the community who have made large contributions to the community. And that's hosted in Augusta at the State House. And that tends to be the start of the Deaf Culture Week and that ends with the Deaf Culture Festival on the last Saturday of that week. My job here is the coordinator of the Deaf, Festival, the Deaf Culture Festival and I work within the community to invite organizations, artists and craftsmen to all come and set up a table at our festival. There are different organizations and event services that are here. We have uh, um, support groups, we have agencies that also donate to the festival to keep it running. And we have a video phone company that is here. We have uh, different vendors with food and drinks that are here. And we also sell food to raise money for the main association of the deaf and also for the athletic teams for um, Baxter School for the Deaf. It's a really wonderful event to get uh, the entire community involved, old faces and new alike, and it's a great way to uh, be able to enjoy our community. Also, we do different activities for the children, and every year we try to include a deaf -blind, uh, services for deaf-blind community as well. And Josh is saying the deaf-blind community is wonderful because we have support people, special support persons, for people who are deaf and blind. And people who are deaf and blind tend to be isolated within their community, and it, the Deaf Culture Festival is a time where they can enjoy the culture as well. We have children who are children of deaf adults. They are considered CODAs. We have a jumping a bouncy house, and we have different signed movies and stories and face painting. So the Deaf Culture Festival is really a time for the entire community, old and young alike, to come out and celebrate. And if you feel like you've missed it this year and you wanted to be involved, please, we are always looking for people to be involved in the future years. So get in touch with us and come out and be part of the Deaf Culture Festival. The mission of the main Association of the Deaf is to support the community through political, educational, and social events. And Josh is saying we also try to uh, uh, have outreach with the schools and with the community we try to uh, assist people with civil rights issues and uh, um, with disability rights issues. We work with the Disabilities of Rights Maine together by uh, if there are needs for deaf part of hearing people within the state of Maine, the DMR can contact us and we will work closely with them to uh, uh, work on outreach, to get the community involved in uh, uh, rights issues, to get a group together to go to the legislature to discuss needs, and to work on a social and political level. And also, if the government or the legislature has something that is related to deafness and they are not educated in that, we will provide education and exposure within the deaf community and then with that we will bring it to the legislation level, legislative level. The significance of culture within the Deaf Culture Festival is very important. We have our own culture as a linguistic minority in the United States. We have uh, the way that we address life is different than how a hearing person would address life. 
Growing up deaf in a hearing family, communication is a lot different and a lot more challenging. So when we're with other deaf people, we have our own culture where we're able to use our language, American Sign Language, fluently and with ease, as opposed to when we're in the hearing mainstream and struggling to have a clear communication. So over the generations, the culture of deafness has become very important and because it is equal access. And with the language comes its own culture. And for hearing students, they, some hearing people in the deaf community, they become interpreters and they become advocates and they're able to see the difference very clearly of the hearing culture and the deaf culture. And they are very separate. When it comes to hearing people in deaf culture, within deaf culture, we are not exclusive. With festival, the whole point of the festival is to educate and encourage openness between the two cultures. There is a gap between them, but we always encourage a bridge to be built, and we want to make sure that everybody feels welcome within our world. So when we talk about deafness, we include people who are deaf, late life deaf in, hard of hearing, everybody is included in this culture. And it's really important to remember that we're very inclusive. Maine Association for the Deaf also works very closely to other nonprofit organizations who provide services to the community in Maine. For uh, vocational rehabilitation in the past, they did not have services for the deaf. So we had a conference every two years. And um, I just became president this past June. So I am in a new position as president. And so we have many events planned for the future. We also have an equipment program. And that was started because of the work of the Maine Association of the Deaf. Uh, so we do have many resources for the community. We have done a lot of work up until this point, but there's always more work to be done. Technology is always increasing, and we're always working to catch up with technology. Also, we're trying to catch up with the legislature about deaf awareness and about the need for deaf education and the deaf school here on Mackworth Island. We work with different employers. Um, if they don't, if equality is not happening, then deaf people are able to get in touch with Deaf Rights Maine or also Maine um, Association of the Deaf, and we work to provide equality and access for deaf people and hard of hearing people of Maine. If you'd like more information, you can get in touch with Disability Rights of Maine, and they are able to refer you to the Maine Association of the Deaf. Uh, we're in the process of setting up a, web, a website, but we do have a Facebook page that is up and running at this point. It's and we're doing our best to catch up with technology. Our website was a little bit old, and now we're working closely with the community to get a brand new website up and running. <laughs> so, and Terry's saying, this is a great way to show old and young working together as we move forward in the world. If you're interested in volunteering or adding support for the Deaf Culture Festival next year, please get in touch. We'd love to have you.